YouTubers, Leo WC Stop Motioner here, and it's time to cover PulseCon. But first off, I just want to talk about Transformers Rise of the Beasts. The Volkswagen is confirmed to be Wheeljack, and the tow truck with the Terracons is confirmed to be Battletrap. Let's talk about that real quickly. Go up here. There's an upgrade kit coming up for Beast Wars figures. I want it, but I probably won't ever get around to getting it. Now, with that out of the way, let's talk about PulseCon. So they did talk a little bit about Rise of the Beasts, you know, talked about that Gior is confirmed to be in it. And we got Transformers The Experience. I'm not fully sure what this is, to be honest, if you're going to talk about it more later. Then there's Transformers VR which has some elements from the War for Cybertron and Fall Cybertron video games. But, I don't know. It looks interesting. I have to see more of what it's like. And stuff for Transformers or Flores, blah, blah, blah. You know, all that. I don't really play this game. I played a little bit, got bored with it. Then, there's this game called Smite that like, I don't think anybody knows about. Transformers having a crossover with, and it's just like what I talked about before. It's an awesome trailer, but I know the game is mediocre. Then they inducted the original voice actor for Blur into the Hall of Fame, so that's cool. And they talked about Transformers Animated. They haven't forgotten it, which is so good, because that is one of the best. All right, now on to Legacy, however, I'm going to look at a different picture here, a different place here because there's more images of them. Now, I was waiting for when these went live at 5 p.m., but I was working on a college assignment, so I took a little bit while I was working on that, then I decided to take a break. Like then 11 minutes, and pre-orders had sold out on Hasbro Pulse. Thankfully I was able to get to Amazon and pre-order the legacy figures that I wanted and thankfully I was able to pre-order Ravage on Hasbro Pulse because I would have just been devastated if I'd missed out on that. But that's just crazy. How could it have sold out so quickly? A lot of people don't even seem to like this. Ugh. And they're slated to come out in July? Next year? That's way too long. What is up with that? I sure hope that's a mistake because, I mean, that's supposed to be when like wave two or even wave three is hitting, hitting stores. So I hope that's a mistake because I can't wait that long. Either way, here we had the first thing that there's no way I'm picking up. It's the Unicron Galvatron accessory pack. He's covered in translucent plastic, so of course that's not going to hold up. Got a bunch of little accessories. Right now we get to Skids. I've already talked about Skids before. I think he looks good. A little, little off here and there, like the windshield doesn't really go up high enough. And he's got hollow in this, but again, I'm, I'm used to that. I like the vehicle mode. It's a little blocky, but I still like it. I still think it looks like a cool figure. So he is one of the ones I pre-ordered. Dragster. Hands down, my favorite of the Legacy reveals. He looks to be on par with something from the War for Cybertron. Like, a lot of people are saying these figures look to be, like, Cyberverse quality. And, I don't know. I just don't know if I agree with that. To me, they just, they look good. They just don't all look as good as a War for Cybertron figure. 
That's my take on it. Now this guy looks about just as good. I really love the look of this guy. This was one I pre-ordered. I'm looking forward to getting the rest of the Stunicons. And I'm just really hoping they give us a new Brubicus because that's my favorite combiner. But anyway, he looks great. I can't wait to get this guy in my collection. Now we have RC. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Because I am pretty put off by how the wheels hang out the legs. And here's why that bothers me. Because this first edition RC had it where the wheels could split and fold up into the legs. And this figure came out a decade ago. So I'm kind of upset that all this all these years later that the wheels are hanging out the legs. And I don't know. She just looks a little off to me. Like I'm down for Prime G1 hybrids. I mean, it does. It is kind of a cool idea. You know, kind of down for it, and also not really sure about it. But this is just—I don't know. I like the bike mode. The bike bike mode is cool. I just don't know. I'm looking at this thing, and I am trying to like it. I don't hate it, but I'm not liking it as much as I want to. So I'm skipping this for now. I'll wait for when reviews start showing up, and if people think she's good, then I'll consider her. I'm not super happy with those blades. They're really big. So, I don't know. And here we got Kickback. This one looks great. I really like the looks of him. This is another one that I pre-ordered. Now the front there is translucent plastic, but hopefully it won't be too bad. The grasshopper mode looks good. A little weird, but still looks good. Overall, this figure looks to be on par with the War for Cybertron figure also. He looks he looks great, I'll be honest. I really like the look of him. Then Bulkhead, of course, already talked about him. I think he looks good. Now, they're not showing off images here, but the back can... I just think keep putting the slide down. The back can open and you can store his mace in there. So that's really cool. Overall though, I'm still not completely sure about this guy. Now we got the G2 Optimus and the figure looks awesome. But I'm not getting this because I'm not into G2. Like I said, it's cool. It's really awesome. I don't have G2 Megatron, so... So, as a figure, it looks cool. So, Bulkhead looks cool. Not sure if I'll get him. RC, I'm not sure. This figure just isn't really fully doing it for me. Drag Strip, heck yeah. This figure looks amazing. Kickback, definitely looks, looks amazing. Skids, yeah, looks good. I really do like the look of him. Laser Optimus, mm. Mm -hmm. Looks amazing, but just not for me. So yeah, that's PulseCon. It was a little bit of a mixed bag. But overall, I think it was still pretty exciting to see these new figures. It's just a shame that half of them were definitely, and then the other half were eh. And of course, Galvatron is definitely not. And like I said, Ravage. Ravage looks cool. I'm looking forward to when he shows up. I'm not sure when he's supposed to ship out. But, like I said, I think this has potential to be a good line. Just not, like, the bet, not the best line ever, but still a good one, at least. Like I said, Hasbro, if you're watching this, please revise that you're sending these out in July. That's way too long. There's no way I'm waiting that long. That that's I just wouldn't be happy. Anyway, that's the reveals. Some figures I may get later when I see them in stores. And of course, wave two and onward is supposed to be getting a Stunticon like each wave. Except there's usually like four waves. So Motor Master 
might come out with another Sons of Khan. I'm not completely sure, but he's supposed to be Commander class. <sighs> That's going to be pricey. But, either way, that's the reveals. I think there's some stuff here that's that I can look forward to. So, if you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and God bless.